There's uproar in Melbourne over a decision to change some traffic crossing lights from male stick figures to females wearing dresses. The private trial aims to promote gender equality, but has instead been slammed as a waste of time. Candace Wyatt has the story. Walk this way. That's a woman. No, because she's wearing a dress. The skirt figure is an acknowledged representation of a female and the figure in pants is an acknowledged icon for male. Swapping the male stick figures for the female form is an idea from the Committee for Melbourne. It says it's trying to change gender attitudes. There is unconscious bias built into our brains because we're accustomed to seeing a male figure. But some see it as a joke. Honestly... <sighs> I think some people have too much time on their hands. This is politically correct nonsense from policy makers that want to feel good about themselves. Similar lights have been installed in cities overseas, including London and Vienna. I think it could, you'd probably go over a bit overboard doing those things. As long as it's a red light and a green light, we don't care. Do you think it's a bit crazy? That's stupid. Well, I don't know where I fit in. Today, I just happen to be wearing pants, which means the female light doesn't represent me because I'm not in a dress, and the male light doesn't represent me either because it's, well, male. So just who are these lights trying to please? The top end of town is happy. Said if we all spend a little bit more time thinking about the fact that in many respects, women don't get a fair go in our state, that's an entirely good thing. Gender equality right throughout the city, um, you know, bring it on. But it'll only happen across the city if changes are made to the Road Safety Act. For now, the red and green ladies are only at one pedestrian crossing. Candace Wyatt, 10 Eyewitness News.